Hey everybody, it's Joey. Um, I'm a mess right now. I need to shave. I need to do stuff. It's early though. It's 9 o'clock p.m. I'm on break, so I like sleep in all the time. Anyway, anyway, this is the vlog um, kind of behind the scenes to the video I made on my YouTube channel. It was just a regular, you know, political rant, but that's the thing. It's like my first actual political rant on my channel. Right now, nobody's commented yet, but I am kind of intimidated as to what type of responses am I going to get. Am I going to get fellow progressives saying right on? Am I going to get right-wing people saying you're an idiot? All that stuff. So, um, yeah, this is vi this is the video just saying, like, why I made the video. Because, yeah, the whole we're the 99% Occupy Wall Street mantra is, like, circa 2011. I'm a few years behind in the game, however... Um, it came to me that this is still a problem because the Supreme Court made that stupid decision at the beginning of the month to take off the limits for campaign funding, um, which basically fucked over our democracy once again, and that's why I ma that's part of the reason why I made the video. And I think it's for people who aren't as aware of what's going on, I think it's good for people to see somebody their own age, especially I'm 18, I'm of youngest voting age, and I think it's good that people my age are watching my videos, um, or even younger for their kids to enlighten their parents. Um, for more people to know what's going on like this in the U.S., it's better because then they vote smarter next time. Um... Unfortunately, we cannot vote for Supreme Court justices. That is the one huge flaw in our democracy. We can only... We can't do anything. Congress can impeach them if they get a two-thirds majority vote in the Senate. Um, right now, I don't think we have two-thirds of Democrats. We did back in 2009, around the time when Obamacare was um, signed in, we had a Senate supermajority. Um, but not anymore. I, we have a slight majority Democrat in the Senate, but, um, and no majority Democrat in the House. The House is full of all those Tea Party nut cases. <laughs> um, but for all of those in the progress, con Congressional Progressive Caucus, kudos to you for sticking to your guns and standing up for the American people, not for the corporations. Yay. Um, but... What I was about to say. Yeah, so wealth inequality is a huge problem, and the campaign funding is just the tip of the iceberg for the whole issue. Um, you know, corporate control, the top 1% controlling 40% of the wealth in the country, all of that. And then, towards the middle of the video, I also tied in student debts with the conservatives, and especially wealthy conservatives' lack of care for the educational systems, public educational systems in the U.S. that I have seen. I have not seen one conservative vote for getting lower tuitions for universities or even free tuitions like I suggested um, for public universities um, because I honestly think they don't care that much they don't care about kids going to college Rick Santorum said it himself he doesn't give a fuck if somebody goes to college and yeah part of my language but he actually said that during his campaign and it's just like you know what that is so immature you know, the majority of 18-year-olds when they leave high school in the U.S. want to go to college. They want to be able to pay for college and not have to worry about being in insurmountable debt when they get out and not even being able to go to grad school because then they have to pay off their undergrad loans. And if they go straight into grad school, then they have to pay their grad school and undergrad loans, and that's a lot of money. That's like, uh, that could be well over $100,000. And unless you get a really good paying job... That could literally be hell, and that's why those people on YouTube, the Out for Student Debt people, you can search it if you want, um, are, you know, really upset, <laughs> some are even crying, and it's crazy to see that it's happening in an industrialized nation like the U.S., but it's not so surprising because we are really flawed in our democracy. I looked at freedom indices on Wikipedia, and apparently it says U.S. is the highest rating for democracy. It says full democracy, and I think that's utter BS. We should be under the flawed democracy co co uh, column because we only have two parties except for two whole politicians in the whole Congress and the Senate. We, only, we have two parties running everything. Um, and though the Congressional Progressive Caucus with the Democrats, who are much more social democratic and progressive, um, do belong to the Democratic Party, one of the two parties, it's not enough. We, we can't just have two parties all the time. How can that be an accurate amount of democracy if we only have two people to pick from for president? 
I think that we should have definitely more choices, and we should switch over to, like, a parliamentary system in which we can elect multiple people to be in Congress. That would be really cool, but we don't. We get blue or red. In most countries, actually, blue is conservative and red is left-wing, so that's kind of interesting how we kind of switch those colors in this country. Um, so, yeah. Uh, with that, yeah, let's just explain why I did the video and me going off into some personal rants. Um, just chatting with you. This is literally how I, like, talk to my parents and even friends and stuff. So, this is me being real, and this is just a response to the video I made on my main channel. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I don't know when I'm gonna upload another video on this channel, but, hey, I upload one now, so, yeah, it's all cool, party. Um, <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I sound, believe me. Um... Yeah, with that, I love you guys. Bye.